What's going on gang, it's Toxel Open Spaces and I'm back with a brand new tutorial video for you guys. Um, for this one, we'll be talking more about the password page, um, primarily because a lot's changed from our previous password page in PlanJane 2.0 to the newer, more sectioned off version um, that we have in PlanJane 3.0. Um, and I've seen some people have a little bit of confusion with it, so I'm gonna do a whole new video on the password page here. All right, so um, before we get into it, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's just get straight into it. All right, guys, so to start off, I'm going to show you guys how to actually enable your password page um, of your site. So when visitors are coming to your site, they see the password page to begin with. Um, I see a lot of uh, very new people to Shopify, um, you know, not knowing how to get this set up. We see a lot of messages in the Discord and emails um, asking about this. So to quickly do it, um, you're going to want to be on your Shopify dashboard and go to your left hand side here and hit online store and then click on preferences if you don't see online store here in your sales channels you want to make sure you go up to the top of where it says search and just type in online store right here right you can click on that and it'll get you here and you should be able to pin it so you don't lose it again so once you're here you want to click on preferences and then uh, right here you're gonna see your store password here okay so you want to make sure that you have this on um, my store right now is a development store. It's a little bit different um, than, you know, the average store. Um, but if you have your, you know, the average store, all you have to do is just hit this one of these switches here and you'll be able to set your password. Um, and yeah, that's how you turn it on, essentially. All right. So let's head back to the customizer and go back to online store, hit customizer and we're going to go back to the password page by clicking at the very top here this drop down and we're going to hit password all right so when you first download plain jane and upload it to your account um, this is how the password page is going to start off um, we have a timer here the logo here um, we have the store owner link here um, you know just so if you know when your site if you go to your website currently um, you're still able to log in and see everything by, um, you know, having this password kind of enabled here. Um, and then right here, we just have a video spotlight. Um, we can put a video in here, um, but we're going to go through all the different options and settings here. Okay. So first off, if you look on your left hand side, um, you can see the different elements that we just kind of talked about. Um, your store owner link here. You can customize this, you can customize the text. And something that I like to do that I like to, you know, advise brand owners, um, you know, especially if you're building an email list or something like that, um, it's really cool to give early access to your customers. So I like to, some, or something you can do is to change the text from store owned to early access. And you can give your password out, um, the password we set up on the previous setting screen. You can give that out the email to, um, you know, or people who subscribe to your email list or SMS list so they can access the site early as like a gift um, before anyone else, before you take off the password page. So that's something you can do. And you can also uh, customize the actual password box that pops up. So let me just hit save on this. So, okay. Um, then we click on this. If you want to customize this form here, you want to change the coloring and all that stuff. It's also located here on the right hand side. So you have to click on store owner link and look on the right hand side and you'll be able to um, change all the colors for everything here. All right, so now we're going to take a look over at our timer section. So this is probably one of the, mo one of the most important parts of the password page. Um, right now I put it set it to like 2000 days or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly set this thing up. So when you first click on it, you're going to click on timer here and you go to your right hand side here and don't skip this disclaimer here because it's extremely important that you read this. Um, otherwise, if you don't set your timer up based off this information here, the you're, you're going to have people coming in all different kinds of times and it won't be synced up. All right. So. You don't want to set your deadline, your deadline time using universal coordinated time zones. OK, so to make it super, super simple, um, you, all you have to do is take the current time zone that you're in and convert it to UTC. So, for example, um, I'm sure you a really easy way to convert it as well. So say we have a drop that's going to be um, at 5 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. That's New York, uh, Florida time. All right, we're in the East Coast. What you're gonna do, just go to Google, just type in 5 p.m. EST, and then 2 UTC, and Google will do it right for you. So all you have to do right here is 9 p.m. Tuesday is coordinated universal time. So when you go back here, you wanna set this for, uh, let's see here, um, May 13th. 2025 and for this to go off at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we gotta set it for 9 p.m. Universal Time so 9 p.m. all right cool so right now the current time where I am on the East Coast it's 11 41 a.m. and now this thing is set up for five hours from now for it to be uh, 5 p.m., right? Even though this says nine, but it's gonna end at 5 p.m. And you do this so no matter what time zone your customers might be in, it all syncs and the, the store, or the at least the, the countdown um, finishes for everyone at the proper time, all right? So uh, from here, you can take a look down here you can customize your timer like the position you can center the timer if you want it more in the middle right now it's being covered by this uh this video element but if you want it like right in the center of this of the page you can just hit this button right here and center it or you can have it like move it to the top so you can make room for other things let me put this thing back here um you can fix the margins so top timer margin if you want to put more space at the top you can move it down um if you want to put more space at the bottom you can move, you know, between here, you can extend that if you want. Um, the typography, you can, you know, change the size of the typography. You can adjust the size of uh, the days, hours, minutes, seconds, text. Uh, only on desktop, um, it does, this doesn't affect mobile. And the reason for that is because the mobile screen is, you know, is very small. There's only a certain amount of screen space and we don't want you guys to like, say, put it up to something like this, right? See how it's all running into each other. Um, try to give you guys as much uh, freedom as possible, but we also want to make it easy for you guys so you don't, you know, have a weird looking site either, right? Um, so you can also see the countdown style and you can show the days, hours, minutes, seconds if you want. You can hide them. It's up to you. You can enable like, a glow effect around your countdown numbers. Right, you can change the color of that to whatever you want. You can enable boxes around your countdown numbers. If you wanna do a style like this, that's up to you. You can also change the colors for that. Um, and then you can curve the countdown box corners or you can leave it, you know, just regular rectangle or, you know, boxy kind of shape and not rounded. Um, and then you can also change the countdown box opacity. All right, so if you go like this, it makes it pretty solid. But if you go like this, then now it's kind of, it's more, the opacity is getting, you know, lower and lower so you can actually see through. Um, so there's that. Um, and then we have our store entrance animation. So what this is, is when your timer gets very close to, or when it's up, actually not close to being up, but when it's actually up, there's a cool little entrance animation that pops up um, where um, it allows your customers to enter. So let's let's speed up our timer really quick so I can show you guys. So there we go. Let's save this now. So now that our countdown is up, we just save this and I'll show you guys what this animation thing looks like. And let me go to the live site. Oh, sorry, I have the disable enter animation on. So let me turn that off so you can see it. I was wondering why it wasn't working. All right, there you go. So you see how like the little page came up. You can put your logo here and you can, you know, customize this text if you want. You can make it say something else, change the color of it and all that stuff. Um, but a big warning when you're using this, you still have to unlock your store. All right, so when the countdown timer stops and this screen pops up for your customers, 
if you don't go and turn off your actual, like I'll show you guys right now, you need to still go to your preferences here and deactivate your password protection. All right, because if you don't turn this off, your customers will never be able to get into the store. All right, even if the, you know, the, the, um, the animation screen comes up, it doesn't disable the password automatically for you, right? You still have to do that by yourself. So say if your drops at 5 p.m., you should be waiting around on your Shopify store. So exactly at five, you turn off, you turn off this password protection. Because if you don't turn it off, when people get this screen and they hit enter, they'll just get brought back to the password page. If you want them to actually enter the store, you need to disable the actual password from the settings. I can't stress that enough because we get so many um, instances where people really don't understand this. Um, so hopefully, you know, this helps you get it. Um, if you have any trouble, be feel free to reach out to us at info at openspaces.design and we can help you out. All right, so let's continue. So what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna talk about adding um, the email sign up to your password page. This is a very popular topic as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide this video spotlight section for a second. I'm gonna click add section here. I'm gonna do embedded email sign up. All right, you can do this one. You can do the email pop up, whichever one. Um, I prefer the embedded email sign up. I feel like it just you know just looks better with the page. It shows up on load. And you don't have to wait for the pop up to actually show. Um, and this is just our default, um, you know, version that comes with plain Jane. All right. So, uh, you have all your customization section, the settings here, so you can change the title, the text, the email message here, the placeholder, the button text, the success message, um, and all the different styling things here. Um, you can play around with, um, as far as getting people to sign up and accessing your list. Let me save this right now and I'll show you guys um, how to access your list of people um, once they start entering their emails. All right, so uh, actually I need to set the timer again. Just move it a couple days up, yep, and then hit save. All right, cool, now let's refresh this. So join our VIP list. I'm gonna put testing at gmail.com. Join. Thank you for subscribing. We'll keep you updated. Okay. So now if we go back to our Shopify dashboard, right? And we go to our customer section here. Um, let me refresh this so we can see. See right here, testing at gmail.com. All of your emails will come into your customers um, section here. All right. It will show up as zero orders and zero amount spent. Um, but they are a potential customer that subscribed um, to the email. So what you would now do is to highlight everyone all you have to do is just click um you know this button here to highlight all the emails um and you can hit export and you can either you know do the selected customers that you you know that you highlighted um you can do all customers um you know you can you can filter it through however you want but this is how you access your customer list and then you can take that you can get in a csv file or you know, whatever you know kind of file that you want um, and then you upload that to uh, your Clavio or um, uh, Omnisend or MailChimp, whatever email uh, marketing tool that you use. And for SMS, um, it's very important that you guys understand that SMS is not something that you can build into a theme directly. SMS, you're gonna have to use a Shopify app. The most popular one is Postscript, but there's also Yapto, and you can also use Clavio, and you're gonna have to use a custom integration to do SMS, okay? So I'm gonna have to, you know, just um, talk about that in a completely different video. Um, like if you don't want it, cause you're gonna have to use their forms and um, make an SMS, uh, I guess capture form using one of those uh, Shopify apps um, and use that to add the form to the page. There is no default SMS that comes with plain Jane. It's impossible to do. Um, Shopify doesn't allow us as theme developers to even do that. would have to build a Shopify app to give you guys um, a way to add SMS um, or capture SMS um, numbers and stuff like that, all right? So overall, this is this is how you use the default version of the email sign if you want to capture emails. Um, 
Now, if you did want to get the SMS numbers or you wanted to not use our default uh, email sign up and you wanted to use something from Clavio, MailChimp, Constant Contact, or Yopto, or whatever, PostScript, whatever you use, you're gonna wanna go to this custom liquid section, okay? And with this custom liquid section, you're able to add custom code. And a lot of times these services like, um, you know, MailChimp, Clavio, et cetera, et cetera, they'll give you a code, you build your form on their shop, on their app, and they'll give you a code to include on your Shopify store. And this is how you do it. You go to the password page, click custom liquid, and then paste in um, your code here. Um, if you'd want me to, you know, go more into detail and show you guys literally step by step how to do this with different um, email or SMS providers, I can do that for you. We can, you know, cut up into several videos. I could do one on Clavio, on Yopto, on uh, MailChimp, um, but I need to see requests in, in, in the comment section below if, if you want me to do that. Um, so that's it for uh, the email embed and capturing your own emails. Um, so I'm going to delete this and um, next let's just talk about the different sections so outside of um, you know the email and the timer you have access to all the different um, sections that you'll find uh, within the theme itself you know for the most part that you'd find on like the home page or the collection page the only thing is you can't put like products here because the password page you're not supposed to be able to shop on the password page but all the other things you can put text block you know video um, you know, you can add a preloader, you know, if you want a preloader thing to happen when they come to the password page, you can do that. You can do an image stream, um, which is really cool. You know, have your images sliding left and right. You can do an FAQ, which is, you know, makes sense for a password page. If your customers have questions on anything, um, collection list, um, and yeah. So, I mean, that's about it. Um, outside of that, the music player, you can also set up your music to show here as well on the actual password page you just need to enable it by going by clicking here and you can upload the disc cover image and all of that and you guys can play around with these settings all right so that's about it for this one guys um hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial um make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel um if you guys have any questions at all on anything just go to our website at openspaces.design and if you go to this live support link here and click that a live chat will pop up and you're able to chat with us um, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. OK, we're not here on weekends. So if you you know, if you hit us up on a weekend, you know, go straight to our email and we're not going to be able to respond till Monday. Um, and also don't leave, uh, you know, any theme questions in the comments below. Um, if you really want to get your question answered um, as quickly as possible, it's best to just contact us um, via the live chat or via email um, at support at openspaces.design. So again, hopefully this helps you guys out. Till next time, peace.